This video shows the remarkable changes in a man's face and bite achieved through a combination of orthognathic surgery and orthodontic treatment. The patient, an adult male, sought treatment to improve his bite. Lower right and upper left first molars were missing. To address this, a decision was made to move the lower right molars forward using bone anchorage in miniscrews. Additionally, the upper left wisdom tooth needed significant intrusion. Note, the movement of the molars and the level of maxillary sinus floor on the OPG before and after. If you appreciate this type of content, we kindly invite you to subscribe to our channel. During treatment, the dental arrangement temporarily worsened, but the incisors were correctly positioned in the bone prepared for jaw surgery. Braces were applied to the lower right quadrant and a miniscrew was placed between the premolar roots. A nigh-tie power spring was used for molar protraction, and later, a power chain was introduced to intrude the molars, moving them forward. Braces were also applied to the upper left teeth to close the space from the missing molar and adjust the wisdom tooth. After a year, braces were applied to all teeth to prepare for orthognathic surgery. Following bilateral sagittal split osteotomy, BSSO surgery, the jaw fit properly, and the teeth were close to their normal alignment. Final adjustments were made after the mandibular setback surgery, and the braces were removed. The right maxillary incisor, which had been ground down initially due to the bite, was restored. Braces were applied to the lower right quadrant, and a miniscrew was placed between the premolar roots. A nigh-tie power spring was used for molar protraction, and later, a power chain was introduced to intrude the molars, moving them forward. Braces were also applied to the upper left teeth to close the space from the missing molar and adjust the wisdom tooth. After a year, braces were applied to all teeth to prepare for orthognathic surgery. Following bilateral sagittal split osteotomy, BSSO surgery, the jaw fit properly, and the teeth were close to their normal alignment. Final adjustments were made after the mandibular setback surgery, and the braces were removed. The right maxillary incisor, which had been ground down initially due to the bite, was restored. Typically, such treatments take around two years, but in this case, it extended to four years due to the need for a 12 mm lower molar protraction to create space for ostotomy lines behind the molars.